Hello everybody, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We've done it, we've gotten every jiggy in the game and every note in the game and every hollow honeycomb piece in the game and all but I believe two of the mumbo tokens. I don't really care about those. Instead, we're going off to the final part of Grunty's Lair. And it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But it's also, <laughs> it's also gonna be a little tricky and quite dangerous. But it's also one of my favorite parts of the game, so I look forward to this. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. We'll take the Red Cauldron shortcut. And off we go. Let's <laughs> make sure the pole doesn't bother us. Now we can high jump off these leaves. Open this note door. And what could lie beyond here? Well, this is an interesting fanfare now, isn't it? A tomb portal, huh? Well, um, this is not what I was expecting, huh? Welcome all! Grunty's the name! Banjo's here to play my game! My lair is done, and here he stands! Through all my tricks and traps and lands! This final test will see me win! When Banjo fails, then I'll be Finn! The prizes on this stand bring joy! From Tootie down to Cuddly Toy! My little quiz will make you sweat. And Tootie, you shall never get. Cause somewhere soon, along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Cause in the fiery pit, you'll go. And I will win the prize on show. So step on over to the square. Press A to try it if you dare. So, before we actually beat the game and can rescue Tootie, we have to complete a quiz show by Grunty, which is kind of hilarious. Because this game really hasn't had boss fights. I mean, you could say Conga, Nipper, and, like, Boss Bigabox were kind of bosses, but not really. Anyhow, before we do all of that, there's a brown cauldron back here. We haven't seen one of those yet, have we? Anyhow. I might end up doing every question on the board. Each one of these tiles is a different question. So let's step on this one. A little answer is all I seek about this game, you furry geek. So this will just ask us a random question about the game that we have to answer. The whale's stomach is pretty grim. Through how many hoops did you swim on? Seven? Nope, it was eight. Fail a square and you'll feel pain. Please press A to try again. In Clanker's cavern, it's a pain. What's attached to Clanker's chain? Oh, a massive anvil. A lucky guess, you got it right. The next square's yours without a fight. A visual challenge, stupid bear, to tell me who it is or where. So the eyes symbolize she'll basically be like, I'm gonna show you something. What is it? See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? That is Mad Monster Mansion. That's the pipe that Mongo gets flushed down. Not Clinker's Cabin. Hear the crowd, they boo and hiss. To see you fail, they wouldn't miss. <laughs> the energy that you have found won't stop me making tootie round. <laughs> There's a grunty square over here. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. <laughs> So this is why we needed to talk to Brentilda in Grunty's lair. 
<laughs> because she's gonna ask us one of her personal questions and we have to remember what Bruntilda Brunt said. And she's, she did say that help, uh, knowing those secrets might save us from a fiery fate. Well, this is it. You want to hear us? I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? <laughs> Grunty and the Boobstick Boys, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew, Grunty and the Monster Mob. It's the Boobstick Boys. That's a secret! How did you know? Did my sister tell you so? She did. Alright, random question. Rusty Bay's crane hangs over the side. It holds a box, but what's inside? Grunty's expensive new hi-fi, TNT or Fresh Shots, there's TNT. So if you skipped a world or two, you might be in some trouble here. Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test, you won't come back. So this is like a timed challenge. So oftentimes these uh, timers will send us to have to complete it, like a challenge we've completed in a level before, but make it harder. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yep. Little steeds that make a bear shout. Whack them all before time's out. Yes, yeah, so and now we have to fight this other tribe again. But now we're on a time limit. There we go. I don't want to use all my invulnerability feathers because we may end up having to fight Boss Big Box again. And he's a tough fight. In Click Clock Wood, he's the king. What's the squirrel doing in spring? Uh, looking for the beaver so in his bed. He's eating his nuts. He had a lot of acorns. So the highlighted squares are ones that we have completed. I want to complete them all. Me and her look just the same. Grunty's sister, what's her name? Bruntilda Bog Handle. It's Brentilda. A question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day. These are sound-based questions. Listen carefully to this tune. Which world's it from, you furry goon? Treasure Trove Cove, my favorite song of the game. Treasure Bucket Bay. It's gotta be that one. Just one chance to get this right. Win a Joker and help it might. So this is the Joker Square. Yeah, uh, if you get this one wrong, I believe you instantly die. But if you get it right, you're able to skip a square with the card. And it could be a, a question of any type, so let's try it. In Click Clock Wood, I have no doubt. In which season is there a drought? That was summer. That was easy. Each Joker card that you have got will skip one question. That's your lot. Press B to use it, you little cheat. When on a square, you get cold feet. <laughs> and we actually have two Joker cards from that one. Get this wrong for Grunty's sake. Then a lava bath you will take. This is also like the Joker one. If we get it wrong. Actually, the Joker one, it might be if you get it wrong, you just can't do it again. And you're like at a dead end. This one, if you get it wrong, you instantly die. You will be plunged into the lava. And it could be one of any type of question. The galley fridge in Rusty Bay. Tell me what on the shelves lay. Uh, Grunty's high fat spread red feather. It was because of the eggs. An extra life, I do not care. It will not help you, Scruffy Bear. <laughs> I love Grunty's arrivings. It's so good. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, that was Clanker's Cavern. Ugh, I remember those entrails anywhere. Mumbo's Mountain is a thriller. What's the name of the gorilla? <laughs> that was Kong. Alright, some of these time challenges are really annoying. 
Oh look! It's Boss Big Box. Mighty Big Box, you must now fight. But be quick, as time is tight. The clocks are definitely the hardest of the challenges. Well, I'm gonna try taking this first phase out with just eggs to spare on the one arena vulnerability features. Oh my gosh! How much HP does this guy? There we go. I don't think we'll need these for any other fights, so... <laughs> the crowd is not happy. I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? Oh, um... Maggot pie. <laughs> Dog done burger. Yeah. I remember that was maggot pie. Very gross. In Bubble Gloop Swamp's giant egg, what's not inside you needed to beg? Uh... It did not have an extra life. It had many smaller rings and I had a jiggy at the, at the end. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That was Tip Top. <laughs> Tip Top, who killed me <laughs> for having a bad memory. Rip Top the Turtle. <laughs> On Treasure Trove, there is a boat. What's its name? It doesn't float. Oh, it was the Salty Hippo. Yeah. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Ah ha ha ha. Yep. That is Click Clock Wood, the beehive, in autumn. I like them fried, they're quite a treat. What for breakfast do I eat? Uh, rat bagels. It was tadpoles on toast. Your moves are slow, style they lack. What's the name of your jump attack? rat attack rap That's a tricky one if you if you aren't a huge Die Hard Banjo fan like I am. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character is this dumb voice? That was Boggy! Ha <laughs> ha, I'm making you sled <laughs> on foot while I have a sled. I'm a fair Bazo the Seal. Boggy the polar bear. Listen up now, then make your choice which character is this dumb voice. As it's cool. <laughs> For her own voice, she says cool voice. I never knew that. That's amazing. Brentola the witch, Brentola the fairy god, Gruntola the witch. Uh, two, it was Gruntola the witch. That's amazing. I didn't know she actually replaced it with cool voice just for her. That's fantastic. Do you know and can you tell what on earth's my favorite smell? Oh, um... Putrid Parrot Puke. Freshly burst boils. Gross. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb fiend's name? It's Gobi! The physically abused camel. Who could forget? Dimbo Gumby. <laughs> I know who Gumby is, and that's not Gumby. Look at my hair, see it flow. What's it washed with? Do you know? Uh oh, um, not baked beans. It was engine oil. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so she asked a personal question about herself. The worst is for the skulls when it's one of the time trials. Because the time trials are actually really hard. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That was Waza. Also Clapper from Donkey Kong Country 2. Waza the Walrus snorkeled it off with of Robnut the Squirrel. <laughs> oh boy, okay. No, not this! <laughs> Watch as the turtles sing their song. Repeat it quick, you won't get long. Oh no, okay. Uh oh. 
Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad, actually. Okay, come on. Smash the turtle. Smash the turtle. I can't remember whether red or yellow came first. I think it's red. I don't really know. Go! Please be right! No! Okay, okay, it's yellow, right? Okay. Now it's yellow. Okay. It's red, now it's yellow. And now I think it was blue? Okay. <laughs> of course it was the turtles. Oh, man. Well, thank goodness I have all this unused health. Boggy Bear is a freeze-easy clot. How many jigsaws has he got? He's got three of them. He ate one and then had two. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? That's Treasure Trove Cove looking straight up at the top of the ship. Some of these are really tricky, like it's in really weird angles. The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favorite magazine? That's not a rhyme. <laughs> Big butts and guts. Or you girls, it's Fat Hag Monthly. Gorky's like, how do you know all this about me? <laughs> this is kind of creepy. <laughs> it rhymed, too. In Mumbo's Mountain, you don't know, what does that big gorilla throw? <laughs> Barrels. This is not Donkey Kong in Fruit Oranges. Clanker the whale stuck down in the goo. In Clanker's cavern, what does he do? Tour guide, massive edition. He's a garbage grinder. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you've been? Oh, um, that's Bone Gloop Swamp. You're looking straight down at the egg. That was tricky, though. I had to think about it for a second. All right. The Walrus on Freeze Easy Peak. What's his name that I now seek? Waza. Waza or Gaza. It's gotta be Waza. Each Joker gives you two Joker cards. I forgot about that. That's surprisingly nice and grunty. I'm not pretty, I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress, a flea circus? And it's massive bloomer. How did they get that in a kid's game? I really want Wow. Yeah, when you play Banjo Kazooie as a kid, you're like, this is not that bad. When as an adult, you're like, how did they get this past the sensors? <laughs> you pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this silly sound? Eggs. Musical goats? <laughs> That's a different game. <laughs> Man. Okay, I'm weird and I want to do all of the questions. I love this quiz, what can I say? See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? That's the Rusty Bucket Bay kitchen. They're making soup. Freezeezy's igloo isn't square. How many bears can fit in there? I don't know! There are three in there! Get more wrong! Yes, that's the way! The crowds are happier today! There are- okay, so there are the three bears in the igloo, Boggy's outside of the igloo, and their mom is technically exists, but she's not in this game. In Gobi's Valley lurks a hand. Who hides a jigsaw in the sand? Grabba the mummy hand. Robba the mummy hand. Dabba the daddy hand. <laughs> the wrong answers can sometimes be very funny. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character is this dumb voice? Slapper the massive whale, tank top. Oh, that was tank top. Yeah, of course. Took me a second, I'm like, I, I don't know. But yeah, it was tank top. Remember now, before you lose, what type toothpaste do I use? Uh, salt and slug. That's right. In Click Clock Wood, the eagle's lame. Can you recall the stupid bird's name? Eerie. Brr, eerie, Mr. Vile. The Click Clock Eagle that you meet. 
How many autumn worms will he use? Speaking of here, he's 25! <laughs> I don't even think there are 25 caterpillars on that level. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? That's the Mad Monster Manor, uh, organ pipes. I am such a nerd uh, for knowing all of this. Give me those jokers. I don't- I probably won't even use them. Treasure Trove's got Captain Blubber. What's wrong with that sobbing lover? He lost his gold. He wanted a drink. He couldn't remember his name. That is Captain Blubber, but he lost his gold. He lost his gold. We didn't wash. There was no pool. Where did I go to which school? Uh, St. Dunball's Calvin College. Fat Hag High. When in doubt, it's about the fat. <laughs> Freezezy's igloo isn't square. How many bears can fit him? Okay. Four. But what? Oh, are they counting Banjo too? Oh, wow. At Mumbo's skull, you made a stop. How many feathers were on top? Uh, three. Almost still has three feathers on top. It's a picture on the screen, do you know where you've been? That's Treasure Trove Cove, the ladder. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you've been? That's the top of the Freezy Easy Peak Christmas tree! Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Freezy Easy Peak! <laughs> Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character is this top voice? That was Gobi, the physically abused camel. <laughs> Hobo the camel. Moby the camel. Because of all those spells I learned, whom at school was my best friend? Saggy Naggy. Oh, Saggy Naggy. No, it was Sweaty Betty. A little more, it wouldn't hurt. What would I have for dessert? Rat Sorbet. I remember that. Because Rat Sorbet sounded way more appetizing than what she ate for breakfast. Gobi's Valley had many a trick. How many pyramids take your pi the Kazooie Pyramid, the okay, the Kazooie Pyramid, the Matching Pyramid, Lord Sandy Butt's tomb, and and the big one. <sighs> I almost forgot about the big one that you have to run up. Ooh, that was a little closer to comfort. On Mumbo's Mountain, surrounded by sea, there's a Jinjo. What color is he? He was blue. Black? There are no black Jinjos. Not in this game. Oh boy. Oh yes! Mumble Magic Help Bear win Nasty Witch Game. This is tough. Your chances are slim of you eating more than him. Yeah, so we gotta beat Mr. Vile again. And this is where, um... Out. Okay, Oh, he's doing way better than me right now. This is where uh, getting the sneakers will actually help. Eat it! Oh, he's doing really well. Yeah, this is why the sneakers are in there. I mean, you can also, like, wait until you get the sneakers and go be valued before you get this jiggy and go. Eat it! Actually, doing poor at the beginning might have been a helpful for me. Because his rope, wow, he's actually doing really bad right now. However, he can rubber band AI very easily. Yeah, so if you're wondering why the sneakers were in the Mr. Vile game, this is kind of why. Wow, that was actually way. I sucked and I still need it.